Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access presentations and content on Google Slides if you have a hard time reading it. So what I'm noticing is that a lot of teachers are posting activities and resources using Google Slides as a neat way to break up different activities where the students can go from one slide to another, and it helps present information. The downside to this is if I have a reading disability, I can't... Uh, it's hard to use, I can't select the text to have it read aloud. So what I can do is if I have the premium version of Read and Write for Google, I can select my puzzle piece. I can then select the screenshot reader. I can drag a box around what I want to have read aloud. It will take a couple seconds to scan and then it will read with text to speech. So for many situations, this is going to be the best and most efficient way to access the text. If the students need a little bit more support, they can click on the gearbox within Google Slides and they can open the editor. And what this will allow them to do is to actually select words. They could go to read and write and it will read within this format as well. And so it does seem to be a little glitchy where it'll read it with read it out loud, but it'll jump back to that first slide. The last way I want to show you, and this is if you're really asking students to do some annotation or writing on these Google Slides, you're going to use this to take notes. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the print icon. And you want to choose which printer you want to save it to. And what I'm going to tell you is to save to Google Drive. Save. And what it's going to do is convert that slideshow into a PDF document that then can be opened up within Google Drive. So if I've just done that, I'm going to go to my Google Drive Recents. And I'm going to see that I have this weird uh, gobbledygook here. I can go ahead and click on that. And that is going to then open up in a PDF. And here is this presentation. And it will allow me to, to read aloud. Click to speak. If I want to start typing, I can type here. I can use my word prediction and my speech recognition. I can turn the typing off. It does allow me to do some drawings. So if I'm having to do symbols, I can draw those there. Also has some shapes. So this does allow me some different opportunities if I need to take notes or actually annotate on top of that presentation that that teacher uh, shared with the class online, I can save it as that Google PDF and then open it up within Read and Write Google PDF Viewer and have more options. So to summarize, use the screenshot reader. If you just want to have it read aloud within the presentation, open up with the editor to actually be able to select the text or Print this as a PDF, save to your Google Drive, and then that will allow you to read it aloud and then annotate on top. I hope you found this helpful.